Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to talk a little bit about skincare and I did a poll in one of my videos and asked if you want to see skincare or not some of you want, some of you don't <laughs> so I will do one skincare video per month so if you don't want to see skincare you can just skip this video every month or maybe you can watch it if you want <laughs> or don't want and you that want to want me to talk about more skincare you can watch this video so I will talk about my top five face masks today I don't know what I will talk about in these skincare videos today I choose five masks because I love face masks I super love it in one video I will maybe talk about my favorites at the moment when it comes to skincare my favorite brands my favorite things so I will talk about does it look like I don't have a neck <laughs> I will talk about different things when it comes to skincare so this is part one of skincare uh, or this I think this will be my top five with face mask so I think we just get started and I think four of these five masks are vegan um, and three of these masks contains acid I think I love acid when it comes to skincare so I think we will just get started so I will show you my five top face masks and we can start with one that is not vegan and this is Emma S I love Emma S it's a Swedish brand it's cruelty free and almost everything is vegan this is not vegan and there are a couple more products from her brand that is not vegan but the most of them are and this is the treatment enzyme peel and this is a and some peel with AHA and BHA acids and this is a super fast mask I love those because I like it when it goes fast <laughs> and this you only have to have for one minute you clean your face put this on have it on for one minute and then you rinse it off and this is supposed to give glow to the skin and peel it a little bit and I love glowing glowified face things I can't even say it like that I like skin products that make that gives my skin more glow so this is a super good mask this is my second tube I really love this one I think I will always have this at home because this is such a good mask it tingles a little little, little tiny tiny bit and it's just it's just amazing I really love this if you want some extra glow you want the fast mask try this this is super super good the other mask from MIS is the treatment overnight repair mask and this is an overnight mask that also will give you glow and I don't really know what this is containing I'm not that into ingredients and stuff that not interested me at all I like the results and I like to do things with my skin and I like to test new products but this is a repairing night mask so you clean your face you put this on and then have it on for the night and then you clean your face in the morning and then you're good to go and this one it's super good I have tried a couple of overnight masks and they have just been sticky you can't like sleep with them because it feels like you get your pillow in your face but this one it sinks in really fast and it's really good and you feel very soft and very clean and fresh in the morning so this is the best overnight mask I have ever tried and I will buy this again then I have one of the most expensive skincare I have ever bought the most expensive mask and this is from comfort zone I think this is an Italian brand and this is Hyd Hydra memory mask and this is a hydration mask and I think it's contain hyaluronic acid and I bought this because this 
is vegan. I'm trying to use as much vegan skincare I can. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> this is vegan. And this is a really good mask. It smells... I don't like smell of things. I don't like smell of makeup or smell of skincare. This contains magnolia oil and it smells a little bit of that, but it's a good mask. I usually use this when I have used a very strong face mask. And I leave this on for maybe like 10 minutes and then take away all the excess and then continue with my skin routine. And this works really, really good. I feel very hydrated. And the only thing I don't like is the smell and the price, but it's a really good mask. So I can really recommend this if you have dry skin because it works so good. So this is a really good hydration mask. Then we have the most dangerous mask I have. It's the strongest mask and it's from The Ordinary. In Sweden we also call it the blood mask. I don't know if you do it in the rest of the world. But this is a red mask. And it looks like you have blood on your face. Um, you can see here. And this is a very very strong mask, so if you have sensitive skin you should not use this. This is AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution. And this you can only have on for 10 minutes. And this stings a little bit in my face for the first seconds. And then it do not. But this, you feel so clean. <laughs> and so, it feels so clean and... The skin feels so fresh after you've used this and I usually don't I don't use this every week maybe two or three month maybe two or three times a month uh, because it's such a strong mask if I really want like a deep deep clean and a very strong clean I use this mask and I love that it looks like blood on your face so this if you want like the deepest cleanest mask there is Try this. This is really cheap, it's really good, and it's vegan. And the last mask is from The Body Shop, and this is their Mediterranean Almond Milk with Oats Instant Soothing Mask. And this is a very easygoing mask on the skin, and I think this is for sensitive skin, if I'm right. Uh, I really, really love this. This both hydrate exfoliate because it's oats in it so when you wash it off and do like this you exfoliate your skin a little bit I love that with masks when it's two things in one and it's all it smells so good I really love this oat smell oh my god it smells good and this I will buy this again when this is empty and I really really like this mask it you feel hydrated, you feel clean, and the skin just feels so good when you have used this. And it smells so good, and it's not a strong mask, so I think that this would work with sensitive skin. I really, really love this. It's one of my favorite masks. Of course it is, because I'm talking about my top five face masks. Oh my god. So, that was my five top masks, and I... As I said, I really love face masks. I like to try new ones. I like to find new favorites. So I really hope you like this video. And if you don't like skincare, this will only be one video a month uh, where I talk about skincare. And I hope you can live with that. Because one video is not that much. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please press like and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!